Hi guys and welcome back once again, Mr. G here. Now we are just gonna get into some juicy or meat part of algebraic expressions. And I've just noted for you here, guys, some important things, really, really important from invisible math or on the aspect of invisible math. Remember I said to you, we've got some stuff that are there in maths, but we don't really write them because it is boring to write them. For example, x to the exponent one is just x. It's boring to always write that one. One times x is just x. We just don't write the one. And x divided by one is just x. Okay, x plus zero is also x. We don't write the zero. x minus zero is also x. We don't write the zero. Minus one times x is just minus x. We don't write the minus one or the negative one, actually. That's the correct word to use. Now, x divided by two is actually a half x, but we just don't write the half like that sometimes. So actually this one you will see, it. sometimes you write it like this, sometimes you write it like that. I guess it depends on the mood of the examiner. These ones that I have circled in purple, guys, are very, very important because they are used a lot of times to catch you so please be aware of this invisible math. You may want to make a little note on your exercise book, especially on this three, which I have circled. All right, now let's try and complete this table here. We've got an expression given, four expressions, and for each expression, we will actually have to tell what type of an expression it is, what is the symbol that is used to represent the variable? And what is the constant term in that, uh, in that what, what can I say? Yeah, in that uh, uh, expression. And we will also have to tell, guys, okay? We will also have to tell what the coefficient of now, this will depend on what Mr. G says. For example, here we'll have to tell the coefficient of the second term. Here we'll have to tell the coefficient of the first term. And here also it's first term. And here, I guess it will be first term also, <laughs> which happens to be what? The only term. Or rather, let me say the coefficient of why yeah since we have got uh, an ambiguous case actually right so i'm gonna fill the answers in red right let's go for this <laughs> what type of an expression this guy is you need to just count the number of terms guys and then you will know one two three three terms means trinomial yes well done if you said that what is the symbol that is being used to represent the variable? Well, it seems like x is the symbol that is chosen. What is the constant term, guys? Remember the catch? It's a minus six, not a six, all right? What is the coefficient of the second term? The coefficient of the second term here, guys, is a minus five, not a five. I hope you got that. What I would challenge you guys to do right now is to pause the video and see if you can complete the rest. Once you've done that, you can then continue playing the video and see if your answers are correct. So what Mr. G is gonna do right now is to complete this. Uh, we can see this is also a trinomial. The symbol used is P and the constant term is a negative three. The first Term, the coefficient of the first term is a one, positive one. Remember the invisible math, okay? Type of an expression, this appears to be a binomial, okay? And then the symbol that is used is the letter M. The constant is what? Guess what is zero. And the coefficient of the first term, you see this invisible math here, is actually a phi. Here, this is a monomial because there's one term. And the symbol that is used here is y. The constant is also zero. The coefficient of y is a negative one. 
I hope you got the, all the answers correct. Well done. If you did, if you did not, please try and do more problems. Um, one thing about algebra, guys, or mathematics in general, you become good at it as you practice it, okay? I believe in a philosophy that says, whatever seems difficult at first, as you do it over and over and over again, it becomes easy. In other words, practice makes perfect. So keep practicing and keep doing math. Cheers.